first we're going to start by taking three measurements. The first measurement is from the dog collar on down the tail to where you want the t-shirt to end. The second measurement is going to be the width around the body. And the final measurement is going to be on the belly from the bottom of the dog collar on down to where you want the t-shirt to end. Next, you can take one of your dog's old t-shirts or even a baby onesie, tuck in the sleeves and lay it flat on top of the t-shirt covering the logo completely and trace an outline. You can even just use the measurements that you did previously and create your own outline. Cut off the sleeves and the collar and set them aside for later. Now to create the front part of our t-shirt, we're going to use the back piece as our guideline and we're going to chalk out just the sides and the top. Now using your belly measurement, you're going to measure in the center and give yourself an extra half inch for seam allowance. And then you're just going to connect the line onto the sides, making a half circle shape. Once you cut it out, turn the pieces right sides together and stitch the sides. Fold the bottom of the t-shirt under, fold it under twice, and you can either press it down with an iron or you can pin it down to secure it. And we're going to do the same step all along the bottom of the t-shirt. To reattach the collar portion, we're going to place the two pieces right sides together and pin them together all the way around the t-shirt. If the collar is too long, you may have to cut it to shorten it, but make sure that your fabric stretches completely around it. create a smaller sleeve, you can either use an old dog t-shirt or onesie as a guideline or simply just follow the shape of the sleeve itself. I'm going to chalk out a line a little bit higher because I want the sleeve to be longer. at the very top of the armhole of the t-shirt. Make sure that the center of the sleeve is at the very top and we're going to attach and pin the sleeve completely around the armhole of the t-shirt. Final step, stitch completely around the armhole, then gather the two side seams together and stitch a line going down.
thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this featuring Petey, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, both under the name So Shall You Reap. From me and Petey, until next time, ciao.